In spreadsheets, you often need to populate cells with sequence of data. Numbers, dates, even text. The autofill feature in Google Sheets can save you a lot of time. In this video, we will look at how to use it and which cases it covers, including some unexpected ones. Hi everyone. My name is Stan, I'm a software developer, and in my spare time I help people and businesses make sense of data with spreadsheets and other tools. On this channel, I share my experience on how to do it in the most efficient manner I know. Let's dive in. When you select cells, the bottom right corner will have a large dot, so-called fill handle. When you hover over it, your cursor will change to a plus sign. So to fill, click, hold, and pull down. If you selected only one cell, Autofill will usually just copy its value, with some exceptions that we will see later. You can do the same by selecting the range in question, including the cell with value, and pressing Ctrl or Command D. If you selected several cells and Google Sheets did not see a pattern, it will cycle through the values, repeating them as many times as possible. Empty cells also count. Sometimes it comes in handy, when you need to copy a pattern and add an empty padding between the repetitions. If Google Sheets recognizes the pattern, it will continue it, for example, like in this case. Autofill works horizontally across columns as well. You can autofill several sequences at the same time. In some cases, you can also autofill without dragging, which can be very convenient when you have a lot of rows to cover. If you have cells to the left or right of the range, select the starting cells and double-click on the fill handle. It will fill the sequence till the end of the neighboring column. Now, let's see what types of data you can use autofill on. The most obvious use case for autofill is numbers. With it, you can fill sequences of whole numbers. You can have any step between them as well. In this case, 5. Negative step also works. You can also do it with fractional numbers. You can even continue sequences which contain text and number. In this case, even one value will be enough. Google Sheets are even smart enough to recognize and use leading zeros. It also works with numbers in the beginning. Now let's look at dates. Under the hood, date and time are just numbers. Thanks to that, all options available for numbers also work for date and time, plus some extra. I will leave a link to a post that covers it in more detail in the description. You can autofill sequential dates starting with only one value. Any step between two dates also works. You can autofill the specific day of a month starting with two values. If a month doesn't have this day, it will be the last day of that month. Month and year. When you put a month and year in a cell, behind the scenes Google Sheets converts them into a date, the first day of the corresponding month and applies custom date formatting so it looks the same. That's why you can also autofill month plus year and similar data. Autofilling time works the same way. If you start with just one value, the default step is one hour. Otherwise, you can use any step you need. Similarly, you can use date and time together. Google Sheets even support autofill for some text values. Days of the week, both full and short names, the exact values depend on the locale of your document. If you are to fill more cells than there are days of the week left, they will cycle back to Monday. The same works with month. If you autofill beyond December, it will cycle back to January. Autofilling cells with formulas is a special case. When you do it, some ranges in the cells will change. So-called relative ranges will shift, Depending on the direction you autofill, either rows or columns will shift. This is very handy when you need to apply the same formula to multiple rows or columns. Absolute, also known as fixed ranges, will stay the same. You can see it by the dollar sign before each coordinate in the range. To make a range absolute, you can press F4. Press several times to cycle through different variations of the range. Mixed ranges shift only in the relative parts, which is very useful for calculating running totals and cumulative statistics. Named ranges do not shift, which is why I prefer using them where possible. Otherwise, it is easy to forget to make a range absolute. I cover named ranges extensively and their benefits in this video. 
Finally, Autofill also works on the cell format, including a separate format for each cell. It treats formatting separately from the values. For example, here, when we autofill, the colors will repeat independently from the values, which will lead to them being out of sync. Autofill is a cornerstone of making spreadsheets quickly and efficiently. Watch this video next to learn how to use it to create good-looking spreadsheets.